everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well um you know i am today i'm doing my first time purchasing from bestiaire collective my thoughts on bestiaire collective sort of my experience the item that i bought and avail so if you have ever heard of bestiaire collective um i know i've heard a lot about it so for those of you that don't know bestiaire collective is sort of like it's an online platform where people can buy and sell either used um like new with tags designer goods or even non-designer but mostly designer vintage is like sort of their main thing so i had always been curious about bestiaire collective I would never purchased from them besides a few weeks ago. I didn't know what the process was, what the whole issue was. I heard there's been some like scandals about it, selling fakes and then, you know, having people having a hard time getting their money back. I was like looking on there because I was, I hadn't shopped for so long, you know, it's still quarantine in Canada for the most part. Um, COVID is still rampant and she's, you know, dominating her world tour, getting so many fans. I was like, I need something new. And I obviously didn't want to spend a lot of money because I was like, you know, it's so uncertain financially. Like, I just want something, something to quench my, you know, designer thirst that wasn't going to break the bank and that was going to be something unique and different. I downloaded the app and I was like scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I had probably spent like an hour just scrolling and I was just like, let's see what's out there let's just look so i was i was not planning on buying so yes i love celine but celine's prices girl they are so expensive and i was like i cannot afford this like new celine prices so let me look at the vintage stuff and vintage celine doesn't hold its value like let's be real there's a lot of stuff on there that is very cheap and like honestly you can see why the designs are very dated but i was like let me just look around let me see and everyone knows i love pink pink and white favorite color combo and i also love like women's handbags i was like let me see if there's maybe like a pink and white woman's handbag so i love the dior monogram print in like the pink and white but since dior is very popular those bags are listed for like a thousand plus and i was like mm -mm, mm -mm. like i don't i don't have the range like i can't sorry let's set a budget for like like 100, 150, you know, just like, like just to see it, just to try it out. Cause if it turns out terrible, then it's like not a complete waste. And if it turns out great, then awesome. So I found this bag and everyone's gonna think, what the fuck did you just buy? And honestly, I definitely had my doubts. I was like, what the fuck did I just buy? So this is a vintage Celine bag. They didn't have any date when it was originally produced. They just had it as vintage. And the price was like $114. And I was like, $114? Are you kidding? Yes. Like, honestly, who cares? Like, it's a vintage Celine bag, $114, whatever. I'll just hang it up. I don't care. I remember like going through, I was about to go check out. And then I was like, let me just like pause myself. Let me see what else is out there. Because maybe there's something better. So I go and then there's also a blue version. And I was like, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? What do I do? The blue one was like 175 and I was like, ah, mm -mm, mm -mm. I was like, maybe I get both because you know, then it's like 250 or something. And I was like, you know, that's like fine. Like I can definitely like do that for two. And I was like, no, stop. Like you probably won't even wear one. So like, don't even buy two. I like go in and then what they have, it's like, you can really evaluate the sellers. So there's individual sellers, trusted sellers, expert sellers, and professional sellers. With professional sellers, if you buy it, they're essentially like a boutique that is using Vestiaire Collective as a platform to sell their goods. And then everybody else, the individual trusted and expert, they are individual, like people like, like us, who are just selling their shit online. Um, expert sellers is when you sell, I don't know, you sell a bunch in a certain amount of time, people buy from you, like you have a good reputation. Trusted is just like the same, but less individual, you haven't really sold that much. So it's a little bit more risky. With individual to expert, when you receive the item, you cannot return it. So it's like that item's yours. With professional, if you buy from them, it's like buying from a boutique, you have 14 days to return the item if you dislike it, if there's something wrong with it, if it's not as listed, etc. I'll put up a little screen recording of the item that I bought. It was coming from Hong Kong. The person who listed it was an expert seller um, and it was already at the Vestiaire Collective Distribution Center. So 
how that works is when people, like when you buy a bag or when you buy whatever, it either is going from the individual seller to the Vestiaire Collective Distribution Center where they verify and authenticate it and then they ship it to you. This one was already at the Vestiaire Collective Distribution Center, so that initial step was already gone. It was already verified. It was already ready to ship out. I like click it and then I was like, oh my God, like I see this thing that says make an offer. So that's what I really like about Vestiaire Collective. You don't have to pay the price you see. So I made an offer. I was like, you know what, hundred bucks. And I was like, okay, the sellers have, I believe it's 24 hours to get back to you, give you a counter offer. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'll just leave it for now. Then the person like wrote back right away and was like 104. And I was like 104, like 96. And I was like, all right, fine. Sure, bitch. I was ready to pay 116, but like, let's go. I was like, bye. You have, I believe it's 24 hours to accept the offer and purchase it. After that, don't know what happens. This is my very first time. But yeah, I click purchase item and then it calculates the duties and taxes, import fees and shipping. The bag was like 105. Let's like round it up. Shipping was $30 because it was coming from Hong Kong and then duties and taxes were I think like $35. I ended up paying like 105 for the bag and like 65 or something for shipping and duties, which is honestly kind of insane. I think I was like on like a high from like shopping that I was like, you know what, fuck it, like I don't care. Click checkout and it was like, you'll get your bag in like next week. And I was like, oh my God, okay. They have a few days to ship it out. If your item doesn't get shipped out by then, you get a full refund. They use DHL. I have mostly a hate relationship with DHL. I've ordered something from Farfetch and they use DHL because DHL is very good at international shipping, allegedly. It came in this little, you know, this little something. Mm -hmm. When I bought the bag, I definitely thought it would come in a box. I did not think it would come in whatever the fuck this is. Um, I was like, okay, yeah, a hundred dollars, fine. If I was spending like thousands of dollars, say you buy like a vintage Hermes or like a vintage Chanel, and it comes in this, I would be pissed. I'd be like, I don't care. I open it up. Inside, they at least give us a dust bag, you know, love that. Has a little pop closure, cute, whatever. I pull out the bag, it stinks oh my god it smells like low-key vomit and it also kind of smells like mildew and i was like on the listing they didn't have anything about odor and i was like if i saw odor pungent disgusting putrid smells like vomit i would not have bought the bag like let's be real i was like oh my god did i just waste 160 dollars why does this bag stink and then I started Googling immediately. How do I get smells out of fabric? So I put in baking soda in a bag. I put in like a dryer sheet. I literally left it to air out inside and outside for like five days. Needless to say, the smell is still there, although it's a lot more reduced. Um, you know, you can't like really smell it unless you're like literally like <laughs> smelling the bag. It's not like I'll actually wear this outside anyway. What I really liked on the bag attached came with these three little things. This one, it says Vestiaire Collective. Let's do a little up close. On the back, it says consignment, VIP, auth, which could be authorized, authenticated, Celine handbags. Um, the date that it was listed, 10 2020 so January. And then the handbag reference number, which honestly means nothing to me. So this is what we have, very cute. It says, we only sell items we love and then the same in French. And then this one, delivery note. In case of any doubt on quality control, please keep the label attached. Inspected by Kelly, date 16th of January, condition good. Um, so they do have like three condition sets. So there's fair, which means it's like, honestly, stay the fuck away. Do not buy a fair item because if this was good, I can only imagine what fair is. Like, honestly, there's probably like actual puke inside. And then very good, which means it's like light matches item description origin has been verified honestly it probably seems that kelly does not have a very good sense of smell because someone should have wrote that on here that the bag fucking stunk but you know i'm not here to judge her here's the bag it has this super cute little c and the you know like triumph or the like triumph 
tower, you know, the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. So that is their thing. That has really come out with Heidi Slimane's um, resurgence of that symbol in the Celine house. He's brought that back on a lot of items. I saw this and I was like, okay. Shape aside, the shape is, you know, not great. The shape is kind of like a weird bowling shape, but also like these are more shoulder length. So it's definitely indicative of the times, you know, I was thinking maybe to get some sort of, honestly, I have no idea how I'll make this work. Maybe I won't make it work at all. Maybe I'll just be like, oh, that's cute. Here it is. On the front, it has this like giant pocket thing with these two like leather tabs inside, you know, it's just like that. Very simple, kind of cute. Oh my God, it kind of looks like, Let's just like fuck it up, you know? Like why not? Inside, I have it stuffed with some air paper. This is my, not a bag of Coke. This is a bag of baking soda. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Uh, clearly it didn't do anything. The dryer sheet. And then I have some air paper just laying around. So inside looks like this. It has a really nice um, like pink and white striping and white leather accents. There's one pocket here, another pocket there. On this side, there is a zip pocket, which is very cute. Here it does say Celine. I'll do some close-ups on the this um, leather bit. It says Celine. Wow, this video is a fail. And then it has some codes on the bottom. Made in China, SA00-55. So that could mean that it's from the early 2000s. Don't know. Don't quote me. And then... Yeah, it just has this really cute lining, very big. I like how bright it is. On the sides, it has, you know, a pocket here, another pocket here. It does have four feet. On the feet, they have the little um, triomphe symbol, so very cute. Oh yeah, here we go. When I first got it, I have this like Aldo shoe cleaner gel and I like just scrubbed the shit out of it because I was like, this better do something. It didn't do anything. Here on the handles as well, it has the triumph symbol, which honestly is what sold me on this bag. I was like, that's so cute. And then I'm very impressed with the quality of the glazing. So the glazing, a really cute pink color. All of the stitching is in place. There's no misplaced threads. Um, there's no discoloration on any of the leather bits. It has a nice white pull tab. Yeah, this bag is super cute very well made in a textile you know i don't know if i'll wear this like like where am i going like this i have no idea but i don't know it's just it's something that i've always thought was really cute the whole white and pink monogram situation um i really wanted a piece of the murakami louis vuitton um it's like the pochette with the white background the pink lbs and then the murakami blossoms so cute, but obviously not gonna buy that. But this is just like a cute bag. I don't think, oh wait, let's do it on the side. I don't think I will legitimately wear this. Like, let's be real. I don't think that's in my future. I don't think that's in my cards, but it's honestly just so cute. And it was only $100 and it does bring joy just from looking at it, just from having it. Oh yeah, it looks like this because it was, when I pulled it out of the bag, it was literally like this. And I was like, really? <laughs> okay. This is the bag. Very cute. I love the print. I love the color. I probably won't wear this at all. Oh my God, that? Oh, Frank. But yeah, definitely won't wear it, but definitely super cute. Definitely happy I have it. Cause I'm like, oh, oh. So what now? What do I think about Vestiaire Collective? And do I recommend it? I do recommend Vestier Collective. I think it's a great place to go to shop around for items that are very unique, very different, out of season. If there's sort of like um, something that you saw a few seasons back that you'd like, couldn't get your hands on it, there's a good chance that it'll pop up there. The prices of the items are good, very good, if I do say so myself. The one thing is you do have to take into account the whole shipping duty situation. I was like a little bit astounded when I saw how much the shipping and duties was because duties is obviously accrued like a portion of the items um, like total. And if you buy a more expensive item, obviously the duties will be a lot more. So if you like say I purchased like a thousand dollar item, oh my God, I can't even imagine what the duties would have been. I probably would not have bought it. Like let's be real. But I do think it's good. I did write, they're like, leave us like a comment. what do you think? And I was like, 
include an odor section on the back because if you scroll i'll like include like a little situation here if you scroll it'll say like good quality but i'm like or good condition and i was like okay but what does it smell like obviously when it's right on the screen you can't be like so it doesn't work so i'm like what the fuck does it smell like i want to know odor should be in there it should be like no odor cigarette um like animal odor some other odor i don't know like there should be an odor section and the odor section should match like good fair very good and then like a little breakdown of what that means because i don't want to be blindsided again if i buy from them say i buy like a really nice jacket and like i want to know if it's going to smell like cigarettes or not you know like that's just me i did let them know i think that'd be a good like addition but i do think it's good um you do have to be wary though because it's just like an ebay except they do like an extra verification process which is nice but you are buying used goods. You never know really what condition they're gonna come in. I've seen definitely sometimes, I saw one where this woman bought, like she saw an item, she bought it. The item was literally completely different and it was like Louis Vuitton monograms. So like the monograms did not line up and that's a little bit shifty, but apparently they rectify the situations. Yeah, I think this bag is so cute. There is like a wallet version, which is actually like, I think I would probably use it and it's in like the blue. So I definitely, I mean, I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do with this, but it was only $100 and I kind of like it anyways, so. That's my experience with Bestiaire Collective. Um, will I shop from there again? Probably. My wish list is growing. I'm like interested in shopping from them again. Um, definitely gonna be a little bit more wary, maybe only use professional sellers, you know, just because then I could return the item if I don't like it. And you know, there's like that, not that risk factor. But I definitely enjoyed the whole process because it's like an extra layer. You know, you buy it, you get that rush of dopamine or whatever, and you're like, oh my god, it's so exciting. You receive it, and you're like, oh my god, is it going to be like the photos? Is it going to be better than the photos? Is it going to be like totally janky? Like, I have no idea. So like, if you're into like thrill, then there's that. If you're definitely not into thrill and you want exactly what you see, mm, probably not the best place to go. But I do think it was fun. Like... I do like this bag. I definitely would not be able to get this bag. I mean, definitely not right now anyways. Like this bag is meant for someone wearing a Juicy Couture or a baby fat like pink velour tracksuit and holding one of those like Nokia flip phones in the early 2000s, no less. Like living my Paris Hilton fantasy with this. Um, it's probably just gonna go in my cupboard and I'll just be like, aw, like, look at that. But yeah, that's that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know. If you didn't, then fuck off. Um, I hope you have a great day and bye.